Hey there, buddy. Today's 137. Vlog a day 137. What I was trying to say last night before the sound cut out completely was that I might be better served by working for another couple years before applying for this visa to go to France. That's something to think about. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the whole dossier uh, put together by tomorrow. A couple things fell through this week on uh, gathering like translations and stuff, so I might not actually have all the paperwork I need to apply while I'm here in Chicago. This, uh, this job in Seattle sounds really nice. Not that I'm guaranteed to get it or anything, but if I could get that. I don't know, I, I've kind of been wanting to move to Seattle a little bit for a while. I've got some good friends there. There are some good author friends there. There's, I have family there. And I think Seattle's a city that I'd really enjoy, so it might work out really well. Second day in a row, you said? Yeah. That's how you live. I often that's how you die. That is also how you die. Well, Cabron was delicious as always. I am stuffed. Back to writing. Of course, first I need to put, put laundry in the dryer. We came back, we were dropping Eric off. We're gonna go uh, do like coffee shop and writing and stuff, but oh, also, I bet you'd like a little bit more light, wouldn't you? So we'll do coffee shop here soon. I need to keep writing. I'm this close to finishing the book. This close. And then maybe I'll let you guys read a sample. Nah, I'll probably, we should probably edit it first, or at least it needs critiquing first. <laughs> did realize that I'd caused the problem last night. See if that fixes it today. I got draft one finished. So that's good. 50,000, 50,800, 50,900 words. I got some novel. The damn fine coffee bar lived up to its name. It was tasty. I liked it a lot. Now I'm going to dinner with my friend Megan and her husband. The Boiler Room is the name of the place we're going to. And then debate number three with Rebecca. Kind of double book myself tonight. And hopefully I don't get an ulcer from debate number three. We'll see how it goes. Google's walking directions took me down this spooky alley. Seems like the perfect opportunity for somebody to mug me. But thankfully, it seems to be fairly uneventful. Anyways, I'm running a little bit late. I'm really actually enjoying, I'm reading back through the book that I just finished. It's tentatively called The Black Knight's Apprentice. There's another tie-in story for Salas here from Into the Nantan. I am super- Turn right toward West Palmer Street. And see, she's just telling me where to go. Probably gonna get me killed. I have been here before. I love this place.